Oh, Ducky, Sandy Loopy here. And if I had one pound for every time somebody asked me the question, how can I manage my OBS plugins? I've got so many plugins. How do I know how to update them? If I had a pound for every time somebody asked me, oh, why is this not working? And I reply, have you updated your OBS plugins? They're like, I think so. Well, now you're going to be able to know if you need to update and you're going to be able to update easily all my days it is finally here an obs plugin manager let's get right into it put your rock on the stone let's go Sorry for the very passionate start. This is just super exciting to me. Like the amount of times that I have to update plugins, look on the OBS forums, see what needs updating, update it, unzip the file, update it, update it. It's just so much effort, you know what I'm saying? But look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at it. You wanna install something, install. You wanna update something, you can go and check what plugins you've currently got installed and press the little update button on the side. All mine are updated, because it's so easy to update them now. You want to uninstall a plugin, press the little trash can. Whoa! It has never been easier to manage all of your OBS plugins. So that is pretty much all you need to see on what the software does. Obviously, there's some other features, search functionality. Right now, it's only available for Windows. Uh, hopefully, they will be bringing it to like Mac and Linux as well in the future. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'd be awesome. Uh, sort it by downloads and last update. That's the software in a nutshell. And one last thing before I show you how to get it all installed and get using it is on the options button, we can actually change OBS's root path. So we can actually use it wherever we want. If you've not got OBS installed to say program files and then OBS studio, you can put it anywhere on your computer. Uh, if you're using multiple versions of OBS, you can use it on that as well. So you can see I'm using the stream up dev one. If I do a browse and go over to, I don't know, a different one of mine that's only got one plugin on, which is this one, select this folder, have a look what plugins are installed. I've got one plugin installed. Wow, just wow. So easy to manage all your plugins in one place. So this is the best thing since sliced bread when it comes to OBS. This is a website just here to get it downloaded. This is obs.starscape.live. I'm gonna leave the description down in the bottom as I normally do. And I think this th this just says it how it is. A fast and easy tool to manage all your OBS plugins for free. Free is the, the word right there. This was only stuff of dreams and legends and just yes, and it's finally here. Look, feature highlights. Right now, there's only the top 50 OBS plugins because this is only just being released now. You're hearing it here first. More will be added along the way. I've actually asked Starscape if they'd be cool with us putting the stream up plugin on there as well. So hopefully we'll see that on there because we keep adding updates as well. Um, one click install and uninstall easy and easy keep everything up to date something that i will ask you all to do is join the discord if you've got any bugs any problems at all or any questions with this software please join the discord and it'll just help make sure it gets better and better and better just any features that you'd probably like to be added or anything like that, any ideas just fire it in the discord help the guys at starscape out like there's an FAQ page, which you'll be able to see just here. If you've got any like questions, they're probably answered there. Again, join the Discord, or you can actually email as well. But Discord makes it a bit more communal. We all like community. So let's just get it installed. If we go on the main page and go to Discover now, you'll see it kind of pulls up this OBS manager right here, and you can see all the plugins. It's, it looks a nicer format than the OBS forums, uh, personally. I think it looks a little bit cleaner to look at. Obviously, all the plugins are not available on here right now, only the top 50, so do bear that in mind. 
but what i'm here for is the windows application you can just press download for windows like this and the file is just under 100 megs so not too big at all it's nice and easy to install as well which is even better and it's nice that it's just running natively on your computer so you could just fire it up maybe once a week something like that and just have a look what needs updating so installation wise we just open the exe file it'll take a second to open and then it's just standard sort of install, you know, select who, what user you want it installed to. Next, choose a location you just want it installed to, which is the program files. Uh, and that's it. Press install and that's it. It's all done, ready to go. Once you do fire it open, you will be greeted with this. It should automatically find your location for OBS as well. With me, it's a little bit complicated because I've got multiple versions of OBS. So it latched onto one that I actually never use. But to change that path, like I said earlier, you just go down to options, press browse, and you can just latch it onto any single OBS um, version. So it doesn't matter if it's portable or not. Super easy to do, which is really, really nice. Uh, browsing is so easy as well. You can sort it by downloads or by what's the most up to date. So we've got actually a new plugin there from Excel Draw. Make sure you are subscribed because I'm going to be doing a video on that as well. Really cool little um, uh, plugin and also is updated source doc as well. And you can see I've already got some of these already installed. Uh, to install, we just hit install. It's going to actually ask me if I want to close OBS because I record all these videos live in OBS. So I obviously can't install it right now. But this prompt is huge. The amount of times where I get asked questions when uh, th this plugin's not working or I don't, I don't know why what I've done wrong. And nine times out of ten, it's because somebody's not closed OBS before installing uh, the plugin. And it's caused it to kind of be uh, corrupt or conflicted. This will help massively. You just press close, it'll shut down OBS, install the plugin, and then you're ready to open OBS once again. And that's exactly the same when it comes to updating. It will ask you if you can close OBS, and it's the same if you try and uninstall something as well. If I press uninstall this plugin, it's going to ask if I want to close OBS. So it's a nice little um, feature to kind of make sure you do get it installed correctly. And that is literally it. It's so easy to just search for anything you want. If you want, say, move transition, you can search for move and you'll be able to find it just there. So you can search really nice interface, really easy to use. There are a kind of few things that I have noticed with it. But again, this is early stages. So I've been trying to like nitpick at it to see that like, am I dreaming? Like there's got to be something wrong with this. What, what doesn't work? So there is one feature that I would like to see implemented. And I think it's half there anyway. And that is the fact when you are using um multiple versions of obs a lot of creators out there do use multiple versions for the same reason like i like to show what's happening inside of obs whilst filming obs so i have two versions of obs open so it would be really nice when you change for instance and i go to browse and i choose a um a, a setup i'm going to choose this one here i know it's not obs studio but i know that is the same folder if i go to my plugins it changes it says i've got 22 plugins installed which is cool but it says everything is up to date and i know for a fact stream effects is not up to date so it's as if it's remembering the previous folder that I recently updated rather than the one that's currently in there. So hopefully that'd be really nice to have a little um, a difference on there. And maybe on top of that, be able to have different folders automatically pop up here so you can swap between the folders rather than doing a browse for each one. So it'd be nice if it remembered the file path, if that makes sense. Other than that, I couldn't find anything that I was a little bit unhappy with. I spoke to Exceldro to see what he thinks of it, because Exceldro is one of the biggest plugin uh, creators out there for OBS. And he's been feeding back some bits and bobs as well to help him. So the one that he um, looked at was the download count. If I downloaded this now, you wouldn't see that increase. And that's obviously very important because most of the plugins that people download are normally because they've been downloaded a ton. Normally, people don't download stuff that's been da barely downloaded. They're like, oh, there's a reason for that. 
most of the time it's because it's new and people don't give it a chance but hopefully when you're watching my videos it gets you to give it a chance uh, so it would be nice to see more ways of filtering like by week and things like that i think this is all in the works this has been talked about on the ob uh, on the uh, discord as well which is really nice uh, other than that, I was looking for some little bits. The only thing that I could think of is if I go to NDI, oh, I'm not a fan of this font here. And I think that's by mistake. So that's pretty much the only thing that I can nitpick out of it. This is huge. It's going to save you so much time. So I have only been using it for roughly 24 hours as of filming this right now. And it's already saved so much time installing I've got four different OBSs on my computer. I know that's overkill, but I just went through and literally just reinstalled all the plugins and they were all up to date, ready to go. I've never, never thought that this would be a thing. Normally I'd have to go into the OBS farms, download a zip file, store all my zip files on a hard drive somewhere, go around each one of the OBSs, install them to the correct file location, and it takes so much time up. Just having this one tool right now is literally mind-blowing so uh, thank you you guys at starscape keep it up because this is insane i cannot wait to see where you take this maybe having extra things like scripts on there that would be really nice because there's obviously a lot of different scripts that people use for obs whether it's not it's like a watch or maybe a countdown timer but yeah you guys get me just thinking about the future of this product it's huge Right, if you want to support me, then consider joining Patreon or using the channel memberships down below from $1.99 a month. It really does go a long way for me to make this content for you for free, full time. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video where we're going to probably talk about some new plugin. Really exciting, all right? Put your over the stone. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.